Welcome, this is Charles with SimplyNuck.com and today we'll be taking a look at the new Intel NUC, the Gen 6 Celeron Arches Canyon and this is the fully configured version. And while this is a pre-production engineering sample, the product does reflect the production product. This packaging does not. Now inside the manual, visa plate, power adapter and screws are all there and those are the same as production. Product comes in a plastic bag. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the product itself. One of the first changes you'll notice is the power button, power LED, and drive activity LED are missing from the top lid. This is now just a plain uh, plastic lid, no holes in it. Power button has been moved to the front with the power indication in the button. And then you'll notice that on the smoked plastic faceplate that there's a rectangle. This is actually transparent and the drive activity LED blinking behind this makes that glow. And so you'll see this whole panel flash when there's uh, drive activity, uh, writing a reading to the SSD or drive. Uh, on the front are the two USB 3.0 ports. The yellow one indicates that it's a charging port and has the 2.1 amps of power available for charging devices. And the blue is a standard color, 0.9 amps. And you'll notice the 3.5 millimeter TRRS, or uh, this is a headset jack. And so this supports headphones, microphones, or headsets. And then the IR receiver is probably behind the plate. This is transparent, so it can pick up IR. And then you also notice these two little holes. There's microphones uh, embedded inside. Uh, and so this gives you stereo microphones. And uh, so this would be for like OS's such as Windows 10 that now ships with Cortina that you can talk to the OS or uh, other devices. Taking a look at the side, you'll notice that there's the SD slot. There is a Kensington cable lock slot. And then there's new hole patterns on the site and a lot more of them, a lot more area. These hole patterns actually split the board. I'm not sure if you can see in there, but some of the holes uh, are open to the top of the board and some to the bottom of the board. So this allows fresh air to come across into the top area where the uh, chipset is, go across the blower and uh, out through the CPU heatsink and exhaust. And then there's openings below the motherboard so that the uh, SSD the 2.5 inch drive and the dim sockets have fresh air as well. Taking a look at the back, we have the CPU exhaust area. We have a 19 volt 5.5 by 2.5 DC jack. This is consistent with the other Intel NUC products. And this product actually does not work with 12 volts. Uh, I'm not sure if it works with 13.8, I'll cover that later. And then there is uh, two USB 3.0 ports on the back. There is another 3.5 millimeter audio jack. This one is just stereo, so you can have a stereo headset, you can have a microphone, and then there's optical in here so that you can support toss link optical cable to your um, component stereo system and do 7.1 surround sound. There's an HDMI port, which is HDMI 2.0, fully compliant. There's a VGA port for your second monitor, and then there is a Intel Gigabit Ethernet jack, uh, which does support IEEE 1588 and other uh, technologies that Intel embeds into their higher end uh, desktop Ethernet chip. The other side has just another set of hole patterns similar to the other side, and both above and below the motherboard. And then that leads us to the bottom. Now this one has the FCC certification. So this is probably not an engineering sample as much as it's a pre-production and represents actual production product. All right, in our next video, I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna take a look inside. Uh, real quick, I'll go ahead, since the lids are really easy to remove, there's a couple of gaps in the back. And just show you under the lid. And so this is the CPU blowers here and the CPU heat sinks here, the blower blows air out. And then these are the tuned antennas and these are uh, both 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz 
and it supports uh, Bluetooth and uh, AC radios as well as BGN. So there's your antennas and then there's the plastic uh, top. This one has some screws holding the plastic together. I've already previously loosened the screws. First thing you'll notice is that the two and a half inch drive bay is not part of the bottom. Um, just a bottom plate. Now this one is a pre-production and it's possible that the production version of the fully configured will not come with the two and a half inch drive plate or without the cables similar to how they did the Gen 5. But this one has the two and a half inch drive bay as a separate metal plate and this one is cabled. This is a pre-production unit, may not resemble the actual production unit. One other interesting thing is that this one has two dim sockets which is uh, different than the previous Celeron and Pentiums which had a single socket that you would, could put a 2 gig, a 4 gig, or an 8 gig dim in. Not sure why they went with the two sockets, but this does allow for now putting in two 4 gig dims to get a dual rank, dual bank, and dual channel configuration. Uh, it does not support more than 8 gig, even though it has the two sockets. That's just a Celeron Pentium limitation, I believe. Also, this uh, chipset does support 1866, but with the additional cache latency of the 1866 and that the 1600 is a standard uh, model, I'm not sure that there's enough performance difference between the 1866 and the 1600 to justify the price difference. Here you can see the 802.11 AC radio. This is also Bluetooth 4.2 and it also supports BGN. Now one thing uh, that's also new about it is that the chassis is plastic and there is a metal uh, sleeve around the perimeter of the inside to provide the FCC uh, emissions um, compliance. And the VGA cable is, is uh, not a connector that's soldered down on the border but a separate cable. All right, that is the inside of the new Arches Canyon product. Thank you very much.